welcome to yoga with dojo cat i'm gonna take you through uh <laughs> sorry i'm laughing because this is a flow that's gonna make you sweat and tired so uh, i don't know how long it's gonna be i'm gonna say maybe 20 minutes maybe a little bit longer so good luck to you and uh, let's just get into it so we're gonna begin in cat cow you guys know it's my favorite. So stack those wrists under your shoulders, knees under hips, and then inhale, dropping your belly, lifting your head and tailbone to the sky. Exhale, rounding your spine, tucking your chin to your chest, really pressing into the tops of those feet. And inhale into cow. Just continue on using your breath as a guide. Exhale, cat. just keep going on at your own pace if you want to add any organic movement in feel free all right from here we are going to extend oh I'm gonna have to shift up <laughs> extend your left leg out and curl your toes and press into the ball of that foot you're gonna feel a stretch in your soleus and your calf muscle and then pick that foot up drop it over top of the right and then you're gonna look back at that left foot foot back to center, bring it parallel to the floor, extend your right arm in front of you, take a nice deep breath in, and exhale, tuck that elbow to your knee. Inhale to extend, exhale, contract. Just take a few bird dogs at your own pace, again using your breath as a guide. Let's do one more. and then come back into tabletop. We will go to the other side. So extend that right leg out, press into the ball of that foot, getting that beautiful stretch in your calf. Pick that right foot up, drop it over top of the left, and then turn and look over that left shoulder to look at your foot. This is a beautiful stretch for the side body. Feels really nice. And release this, come back to center, lift that right leg parallel, extend the left arm in front of you, take a deep breath in, Exhale, touch the knee to the elbow. Inhale to extend. Exhale, contract. And one more. And come back into tabletop position. Come all the way down onto your belly and onto your elbows stacking those elbows under your shoulders for baby cobra you can stay right here if you like but if you'd like to get some gentle movement you can inhale at center then exhale look over your right shoulder inhale center exhale left back to center and off of those elbows press into your palms bring those knees wide big toes to touch and melt your hips down to your heels bringing your forehead to the mat for a quick child's pose let's get a little swaying motion kind of rolling our forehead back and forth 
and then just putting our weight on our right hand and then our left. And come to stillness. From here, we're gonna roll into Cobra. So bring those knees together, press into the tops of those feet and straighten those arms. Try to bring them, uh, your wrists underneath your shoulders. Lift your chest to the sky for a nice back bend here. And when you're ready, curl your toes, lift your hips to the sky for a downward facing dog. So this is our first downward facing dog. So you might want to get some movement going here, pedaling out your feet, rocking up on your tiptoes. If you want to bend your knees to put the focus of the stretch on your spine and take the intensity off your hamstrings, you are totally free to do that. All right, let's get into our main flow here now that we're all warmed up. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, bend that knee. Get that nice stretch in that hip. And then bring that foot in between your hands. Drop that right knee, uncurl those toes, and we're gonna hang out here in a low lunge. So if you'd like, you can bring your arms to the sky just for an added challenge. Just make sure you roll those shoulders up and then down away from your ears. But if you'd like to focus the stretch on the hips, you can just think about putting your hands on your knees and really sinking into your hips here. Thinking about taking your tailbone and tucking it underneath to stretch out this right hip flexor and create a nice long line uh, from the tailbone all the way to the top of the crown of your head. You're ready straighten that left leg and hinge forward at the hips trying to bring your nose to your knee and we're going to bend that knee coming back into that low lunge plant that right hand to the mat and then extend that left arm to the sky. All right, from here, we're gonna go right into a side plank. So ground into that right hand Curl your right toes, lift that knee up, and then step back into a side plank, left arm to the sky. Don't forget you have the option to come down to this knee if that's too intense on your shoulder, or you can also come into plank, but rest on your elbow instead. It's up to you, whatever you feel like you need for your practice. And then turn into a plank, bringing those hands underneath your shoulders and then right away we'll press into downward facing dog bend your knees gaze forward hop step or float to bring your feet behind your hands and then inhale hands to sky and then exhale Bend those knees and sit into chair pose. So your weight is gonna be in your heels for this pose. You should be able to lift those toes and wiggle them. If balance is a challenge for you, the more space you have in between your feet, the easier this pose is going to be. Also option, if your shoulders are burning, bring your hands to heart center. All right, we are gonna bring those hands to heart center anyways. Sink a little lower and then twist to tuck that 
left elbow behind the right knee, and then gaze up at that, whew, at that right elbow. And you can release the twist, stand all the way up, grab into that left foot, step back with that right foot, turn that foot parallel, straighten that front leg, bring your arms parallel, shift forward, drop that left hand to the left foot, and gaze up at that right arm for triangle pose. If you'd like to get a deeper stretch on this pose, you can feel free to bring that hand outside of your foot. I'm just gonna stay where I am right now. And reverse that triangle. Feel free to wrap that right arm around your lower back for a uh, bind, or you can just place that hand on the back of that right thigh. And we'll transition into warrior two from here. So bring those arms parallel and bend that front leg. Press this leg out. We don't want it caving in at all. Try to create a nice long line in between your fingers. You're really stretching those fingers. And we are going to move into warrior three from here. So bring that right arm to match the other arm, grounding into that left foot and push off that right foot. And then lift that leg parallel and your arms parallel in front of you for warrior three. I'm gonna try really hard not to fall on my plant. <laughs> oh God. If you struggle with balance, you can find something on the floor to focus on and also really think about squeezing that core. That's gonna help you. And sink back into warrior two. From here, we are gonna go through our flow sequence. So cartwheel those hands to the floor, step back into plank. Shift forward a couple of inches, lower ourselves 90 degrees, uncurl those toes, inhale, upward facing dog, floating those thighs off the mat, rotating heels inward, and exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful work. I'm sweating, hopefully you are too. Although it is very hot here today, so could just be me. All right, we are gonna take that practice to the other side, and then we'll do a quick cool down and we'll be done for the day. Inhale, I'm trying to kick my shelf back there. I'm probably gonna just have to move that thing. Inhale, <laughs> right leg to the sky. Exhale, bend that leg. I'm just gonna shift here uh, to open up that hip. And when you're ready, bring that right foot in between your hands, drop that left knee, flatten that foot, and then inhale, hands to sky for a low lunge, or option just to bring those hands to your knee and really sink into that uh, hip stretch. Also, while we're just like hanging out here for a second, <laughs> I just want you to know how hard I am resisting. Uh, I'm, I'm putting like some Halloween decorations in my videos already. <sighs> I want to so bad. When August 1st hits, my like inner spooky bitch comes out and she's just like, okay, it's time for like pumpkins <laughs> and ghosts and everything. So I'm like doing you guys a solid and just holding back until maybe September. <laughs> We'll see. All right, we're gonna straighten that right leg and then hinge forward at the hips. Whew. I'm like really stoked to start putting decorations in my videos. I'm 
and we'll bend that knee coming back into the lunge, plant that left hand, and then inhale that right arm to the sky. From here, we're going to move into that side plank. So you're going to want to ground into that left hand and then curl those left toes, lift that left knee and then step that leg as gracefully as possible <laughs> to stack your feet. Oh, I'm just going to shift forward. Make sure that your uh, wrist is underneath of your shoulder. Just protect it. Whew, I'm shaking on this side. Don't forget you have those options if you want to drop down to a knee or your elbow. You are also free to skip any poses too. This is your practice. You can do whatever you want to do. So we're going to move into plank now. Let's take one second. Let's take a nice deep breath in. And then press into downward facing dog. Well guys, I think I'm going to have to move the shelf. It's impeding practice so okay you can see uh, this is probably the second video I filmed with this knee setup just trying to figure out getting stuff into frame is uh, you know <laughs> it's a challenge all right bend those knees gaze forward hop step or float to bring your feet behind your hands inhale hands to sky for mountain pose, exhale, bend those knees, sit into chair. I challenge you to go a little bit lower than you did last time. It's our last chair. We are almost done this side. Right, if your hands are not at heart center, please bring them there and then sink a little bit lower and tuck that right elbow behind that left knee and gaze over top of that elbow on the left side. And release, come back into mountain. Beautiful work. You wanna shake your legs out. Because <sighs> they're probably burning, mine are. Grounding into that right foot, step back, with that left foot, turn that foot parallel, straighten that right leg, bring those arms parallel, shift forward, lower that right hand to that right shin, gaze up at that left hand for triangle pose. Don't forget you have that option to place that right hand outside of that right foot if you wanna deepen the stretch. This is another one of my favorite poses. It just feels so nice on the side body. My muscles in my abdomen and lower back get so tight from an old injury. So this is one of my favorite ones to do to kind of stretch that body out. And reverse the pose, taking a bind. And then come into warrior two, bending that front leg, pressing that leg out, not letting that knee cape in, creating that nice long line from our right fingertips all the way to our left fingertips. Oh, I'm just gonna pet my here. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you right now, this setup is not working. <laughs> okay, we are gonna figure it out. All right, let's go into that warrior three pose. So bring that left arm to match the other one, grounding into that right foot, pressing off the left, and then bringing that leg and your arms parallel to the floor. Remember one side is gonna be different than the other. You might be more balanced on one side than you are on the other. It's the same with flexibility. It's normal. It's just something to note and work on. It's all about progression.
and you're gonna tip back into that warrior two and go through our flow one more time. Cartwheel those hands to the floor, plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and then stand up down dog. We're gonna press into child's pose. Oh, my lights are flashing. It's just a ghost. Okay, from here we are just going to cool down so you can bring that right knee to that right hand. Try to bring that leg as parallel as you can without hurting yourself. And then sit back into pigeon pose. We're gonna stay nice and high for a couple of breaths. Really thinking about lengthening the spine, tuck that tailbone underneath. All about it's all about that anterior tilt in pretty much everything we do. <laughs> and on your next exhale, come down to your elbows or your forehead. We're just going to press into a really quick downward facing dog and then right away bring that left knee to the left elbow, I mean hand, bring that leg parallel and let's stay high for a couple of breaths. Oof, this side is a lot more tight for me. It's a lot harder to get this leg straight as you can see it's, it's not, <laughs> but that's okay. And on your next exhale, come down to your elbows to your forehead. knees stacking those knees over top of the hips and from here we're gonna go into puppy pose so keep those hips where they are and then bring those hands as far out in front of you as you can bringing your forehead or your chin to the mat so it's just a more intense stretch for the shoulders and the back you can get a gentle back bend going here right hand where it is and just thread that left arm underneath for a nice shoulder stretch. And then go to the other side. So threading that left, sorry, right arm underneath underneath the left one. And you can release and come back up into a comfortable seated position. All right, that is it from me today. I hope you enjoyed that flow. Please bear with me while I'm trying to figure this situation out. I'm just trying to find a way to be able to fit everything in the screen with limited space. We'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Uh, if you liked this video, please like and subscribe, tell your friends. I'd love to have you in my little dojo. 
and I have a poll up right now. Let me know if you like uh, the more intense yoga videos or if you prefer the chill ones, which are my favorite, to be honest. <laughs> so let me know what you think. Love to hear it. All right, you have a great week. Go hydrate, go wear some sunscreen. It's hot outside. Make sure you're taking care of yourselves. And uh, yeah, go enjoy the rest of your day. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Oh.